China just achieved some spooky action. China is leading the pack in terms of quantum space experiments after the country announced that it had set a new distance record for beaming entangled particles from space to Earth. A photon can be split into pairs of entangled photons by a laser beam. The entangled photons influence each other. If one photon changes its state, the other reacts instantly by taking up a state relative to the photon. The photons remain engaged even when they are separated by great distances. Quantum communication could greatly enhance security, as any interception of the information will alter the state of the photons, giving away the eavesdropper. The experiment was conducted from the Missius satellite, orbiting 480 kilometers above Earth, as photons travel more smoothly in the near vacuum of space. The team produced entangled photons by sending a laser beam through a light-altering crystal on board the satellite. The photons were sent to two receiving stations in Dalingha and Lijiang, 1,200 kilometers apart. Opposite polarization states were measured at the two stations, confirming the entanglement, otherwise known as spooky action, was achieved over a record distance. Although the hack-proof communication system is still a long way off, China uses various other ways to control the internet. Dubbed the Great Firewall of China, the government prevents Chinese netizens from accessing sensitive topics and foreign websites. The wall was fortified early this year by blocking virtual private networks that could allow users to bypass the firewall and gain access to restricted sites. Other methods the government uses to influence the internet include posting fake, grassroots comments on social media websites. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. China has boldly stepped up its space exploration efforts in recent years. China sets out deep space exploration plans. China on Tuesday published a white paper outlining the country's activities in space for the next half decade. The Chinese government plans to launch and land probes on Mars and the Moon by 2020. The lunar mission is set for 2018, and if successful, would see the first ever probe being landed on the far side of the moon. China also plans on robotically exploring the moon's poles. China's Mars mission is slated for 2020. China plans to send a lander, rover, and orbiter to Mars all in one go. There, China aims to collect samples from the planet and transport them to Earth by 2030. China also aims to explore an asteroid and the Jupiter system, with the latter mission expected to take place in the next 10 to 15 years. If any of these are successful, they have the potential to set the People's Republic of China on the path to becoming a space power that could rival Russia or even the U.S. China announces launch of Mars probe missions. China has revealed artist images of technology set to explore Mars in 2020. The State Administration of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense has announced its probe mission launch in hopes of retrieving data from the Red Planet. The probe, housing the lander, which in turn carries the rover, will be launched on a long March 5 rocket from Wenchang Space Center in China's southern Hainan province. After orbiting the planet for nearly seven months, the lander will separate and touch down in a low-latitude area on the northern hemisphere of Mars. The rover is equipped with six solar panels and designed to operate for three Martian months in this low sunlight environment. The rover weighs in at around 200 kilograms, much larger than its predecessor, the Jade Rabbit or U-2 rover. The new rover will be able to carry 13 payloads, including a remote sensing camera and a ground-penetrating radar. China would be the fifth country or grouping to orbit Mars behind the U.S., Russia, Europe and India. A public competition for the name and the logo of the 2020 mission was also launched. China forcibly relocates thousands to make way for a giant space telescope. More than 9,000 residents in southwest China are expected to be displaced from their homes before the completion of the world's largest radio telescope later this year. The 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, or FAST, cost 1.2 billion yuan and is being built in China's Guizhou province. The telescope has a diameter of 500 meters and is made up of 4,500 triangular panels, 4,350 of which are movable. 
A retina weighing 30 metric tons is suspended by cables 140 to 160 meters above the center. Once fully operational, the panels will reflect radio signals from distant parts of the universe towards the retina where they will be collected. 9,110 residents who live within 5 kilometers of the telescope are expected to be relocated, with each receiving 12,000 yuan in compensation. Puerto Rico's Arecibo Observatory, which measures 300 meters in diameter, is currently the largest telescope of its kind. FAST is expected to claim the title upon its completion in September. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. China flight tests new anti-satellite missile. China has flight tested a new missile which defense analysts believe is designed to destroy satellites. On October 30th, China conducted a flight test of its new Dongneng-3 missile from the Korla Missile Test Complex, according to the Washington Free Beacon. Analyst Bill Gertz writes that the new missile, like its predecessor, the Dongneng-2, is designed to destroy satellites. China maintains that the missiles are purely defensive, meant to intercept incoming ballistic missiles, not to destroy satellites. The older DN-2 was a three-stage missile based on a satellite launch vehicle with a kinetic warhead. The new DN-3 may be a modified DN-2 or a completely new design. A U.S. congressional report says China's anti-satellite missiles can only fly on predetermined flight paths and only strike satellites over China's territory. In May 2013, a DN-2 missile nearly reached geosynchronous orbit, threatening intelligence and navigation satellites, 